So um, you resign the board. Yeah, I'm on the I board. Of, I'm on the board of directors for the David Suzuki Foundation. Uh, that's which is obviously you're the guy, but you resigned. Why? Well, I resigned over six months ago now because, you know, at my age, this is a very the most important part of my life. One of the things I found is as as I get older, my testosterone levels drop, and you know I'm getting smarter <laughs> because I'm not talking thinking about sex all the time. <laughs> And uh, I now see what my, why my wife wins all our arguments, because they're not clouded by all this other stuff, right? So I feel, though, that at my age, no one can accuse me of wanting more fame or power or money. I can see with much greater clarity all the mistakes I've made in my life, what I've learned. And this is a time to pass on some of the nuggets of, of information I feel is important for future generations. So I'm telling my fellow elders, Get off the, the golf courses and start talking to young people. Start going over your life and sharing some of that knowledge of our, of our elders. Now, why did you have to resign the board to do that? Because every time I start sharing my knowledge, I start criticizing the government, politicians. <laughs> you can't do that if you are a charity. Right. And I keep saying, this is civil society. I'm a citizen. I have the right to express as an individual my, uh, my rights. Yeah. But uh, then you have the, uh, the right wing that say, oh, you see that? Suzuki, the foundation has my name. Suzuki is uh, indulging in political activity. So they keep calling for the loss of our charitable status. And I felt that every, I, I can't be muzzled any longer. And uh, I don't want to be an impediment to the foundation, which is the most important thing I've done. Have you seen how your conversation about the subject was wrong? Have you seen different ways where you can get it out? I think environmentalism has fundamentally failed. The entire thing? The, envir the movement has failed. Now that is not to say we weren't unbelievably successful in the first years. This year, by the way, is the 50th anniversary of the beginning of the environmental movement. Rachel Carson published right. Silent Spring in 1962. And a lot has been achieved when you think, you know, when her book came out, there wasn't a single department of the environment on the planet. She put the environment on the map. And when you think of the laws that we have now to protect air and water and endangered species and millions of acres of, of land that have been protected in parks, environmental movement was very, very successful. The right. problem was, as we were fighting to stop clear-cut logging or building a dam here, or polluting this river, we acted as if that battle was everything. We had to win this one. And we never educated people about why are we fighting. This is just a brush fire. It's that we're acting in underlying, an underlying way that's destructive of, the, of Mother Earth, of the very things that keep us alive. We never learned that lesson, that winning, stopping the logging here means we've got to log in a fundamentally different way. Right. We've got to maintain the forest. We've got to protect the air, protect the water. And now what's happened is we're just being swept away with a tsunami of all of this noise that the economy is everything.